All right, let's unpackage it. Whoa. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Astroneer episode 16, where we're making lots and lots of progress. It looks like we have a lot of good smelted stuff here on our smelter. Uh, I feel like this looks like it holds more, but this only holds 16, whereas this holds 20. So I suppose this is the better platform, even though it takes iron to make. When you have this much scr scrap, I suppose you can afford to splurge a little bit on the iron. The big thing is at this point that I want to make a shelter. And in order to do that, we're going to need a large printer. Which is going to be three compound. One, two, three. Easy. Well, that's happening. Let's drop off some of these extra pieces. The rubber, the ceramic, probably go there. And then this lithium. I don't know if we'll use that for a battery or not, but we have it in case we decide to. At this point, we're gonna have to make ourselves a canister just so we can go down and have the soil it takes to bridge ourselves down to where our body is. I think the way to unlock this, if I'm not mistaken, is to bridge up to it, right? Yeah, see, look at that. Clever, clever. I knew I'd figure it out. Oh, come on. It's not a lot of bites, but we're going to make this power work for us, and it gets better as time goes on. Now, the real question is, where did we go? We went down here. Okay. We can just keep gathering this resin that's here. Quite a resin deposit, if ever there was one. I think once we get down here... Hey, look at that. Really, it wasn't that bad at all. Oh, we need to keep this on the oxygen filters at all times, for crying out loud. Alright, let's get the work light where it goes, and the mods where they... No! Okay, thank you. Now. Boost mod on top. Wide mod on the side. Extenders here. We've got our filters. We've got our canister. We'll leave the extra canister there. We don't need the extra canister. could tether down here. But at this point, really, we just need the resin and the soil, so... Let's just go ahead and chew through this really fast. Whoa, whoa! Hold the phone. Resin's what we came down here for, silly goose. Okay. Mm, just gotta be careful. It's really easy to take a big nasty fall, and then what? Just gotta pave the road. There we go. Alright, so from here we're just gonna get ourselves a large platform. Yeah, I suppose we should do a large platform B, that way we have more more space on the side for power generation should we require it. And then the large printer 
We'll set up over here. We've almost got enough to activate the soil centrifuge. So, and look, we've got resin over here. It's actually a really good position for a base, given all that there is nearby. All right, so again, with the organic, we don't really require it. We can always make more should we need it, which we don't. Not at this time. All right, so... I think it's safe to say we're going to want another large platform B. Like that. Nice large printer. I'm just going to get all of this nice kind of paved out here. Flat looking concrete stuff. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're not printing in that direction. Oh no, you're not. Two silicone and two plastic. Well, that's not rubber at all. That's completely different. And here I thought I had brought things that we needed. Mm, see, that's why we have to... Oh, That is why we need a shelter. So we don't have to keep running to our rover just to get O2. Troubling. Troubling, troubling, troubling. All right. So, from here, let us go for the chemistry station. Tungsten, glass, and ceramic. A little bit of everything that we have over here is what we need. Wonderful. Wonderful. And from here, we're going to take some of this medium storage. Right, I think we can afford to put it here. That's just going to help out our chemistry station. We could have made another large one, another platform C, but then, then we're using up this iron fairly quickly. I didn't really necessarily want to do that. Although we do have the scrap, but I feel like we're going to need the scrap for other items. Because what I would really like to do is I kind of liked jumping technology earlier. One aluminum, two ceramic. Oh, that's fairly easy, actually. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't need a landing pad here yet. Aluminum alloy and ceramic, that's fairly easy to make. Titanium alloy and ceramic, that is fairly not easy to make. Titanium, we have not even been to a place that does titanium yet. Let's just get some resin from here. Okay, so what is it going to take for... Rubber is organic. No, we don't need rubber. Plastic is carbon and compound. Fairly easy. Diamond is graphene and graphene. That's fairly easy. Hmm. Silicone... Oh, two silicone. And that requires methane fuel. Yikes, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, okay, let's take a second to look at our Astropedia here. Methane fuel. Hmm. Hydrogen and nitrogen from this planet. No gases on to solo. Hydrogen and sulfur from Kalidor. Sonya has hydrogen, argon, argon, nitrogen. Hydrogen, methane at Novus. Hmm. 
So we need to go back to Novus. We need we need some methane to do this. Argon, helium, methane, nitrogen, sulfur at Aatrox. No, this exotic moon. That's that's where we need to go. We need to go back there. We need to do that. So that means we're going to need a landing pad. One aluminum, two ceramic. We're going to have to bring our shuttle over here. That's fine. There's a lot of research we'll be able to get over there. We'll be able to get some value out of that. Ugh. Oh, I want to go underground. I suppose it's going to have to wait for the time being. But if we're doing this, we're going to make a bigger shuttle. Yeah. No, we're not going to bring the small shuttle. We're going to make a much bigger shuttle. Right? We're Again, we're going to skip the medium shuttle. We're going to jump straight to the large shuttle. Titanium alloy times two and ceramic times two. Let's just take a peek at what those require. Just real fast. Or, or I know the ceramic, but let's... Titanium and graphene. We could do that. We could do that. Alright. Large shuttle is learned. Um, landing pad. We're going to do sort of over here. Whoa. Whoa, that's... That's pretty epic. And you can collapse it. Ugh, and then move it around. Nah, that's... That's cool as heck. That's cool. I like that. I, I approve. I approve. I fully, fully accept these terms. Now, in the meantime, let's get some soil so we can flatten this area out a little bit. Give ourselves a place to deploy this, this behemoth of an accomplishment. We might just leave the other shuttle just tr kind of trapped over there, actually. Look at this noise. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Okay, so... The next step to the large shuttle is titanium. So let's see what kind of a... Titanite is... 2 to 1. I know we don't need the rubber, so let's just do this. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Bring me back to Titanite. The ceramic, we're going to need ceramic, so I think we can safely just start chewing away at this here. The real question is, what are we going to want to bring with us? We should start planning ahead. If we're going to Novus, uh, Novus has lithium, it has iron, laterite down in the caves. So it seems like we're going to want to bring copper. I'm, sh I'm almost sure we're going to want to bring some copper. Now, is this a thing we smelt? It is. Titanite smelts to titanium. We're short on power, so we're going to hook this up. Whoa, look at that power usage. Boom. Bankrupting vehicles. Titanium. 
titanium. And we determined that the titanium... Oh, no, it takes nitrogen. How did I miss that? No, no, that's okay. We can gather nitrogen here. So all we need is... We need the next step of progression, which is the atmospheric condenser. Plastic, glass, and iron. We should have all of that. I mean, I would think. I know where we can get some quartz for glass. We just scootle right on down here. Right, there's no need to uh, to spin it up in the soil centrifuge. Whoa, whoa, stop. Wow. Those boost mods. That boost mod and wide mod combination are really just something else. Well, that being said, I dare say we got the glass we would need. Nothing else to research, eh? I wonder, can you still research resources? You can. Iron is 200. I imagine organic is... 100. So, okay, so you can still research resources. They just don't give a lot. Okay. We didn't quite get our 1750. I think the best way... Well... We can scan stuff. We also have some of these. Yeah, let's let's grab some of this low-hanging fruit here for research. Hmm, it is pretty neat having a base set up near this thing. No, go ahead and disconnect. That doesn't need the power, it's just draining the vehicle arbitrarily for no good reason. Alright, it's low scale research, 14 bytes a minute, it's not a lot. But if we couple that with the scanning of things in the nearby forest, we should be able to get to 1750 fairly easily. Let's see, what are these worth? 18. It all adds up. 1745. One more. One more. Alright, there's 1750. Atmospheric condenser. We're gonna do this. I'm a l I'm hesitant to say anything negative, but I am slightly emphasis on the word slightly um, disappointed that you can so easily and effectively jump past the medium rover and the medium shuttle. Hmm. But I guess I guess it just comes down to your play style it's, it's surely not the end of the world by any means all right let's see how we make plastic carbon and compound okay so at this point we're talking about the need for organic
Got to make sure we make our trip over to that large rover. We would hate to suffocate. Goodness. We're down to no bites of research anymore. Tough, tough. Very tough. I don't think we need all this ceramic. I mean, holy smokes. I can already see one of the benefits of using a medium platform over a large platform. So with the medium platform, I can e I can easily change materials. I could say, if I if this was all smeltable stuff, I could just grab it, move it over there, and it would all smelt. Um, but that's not the case anymore. All right, plastic it is. Need another compound. And actually, I think it's just the one plastic, isn't it? Glass, iron, and plastic to make... Atmospheric condenser, that's the one. We'll take this titanium, we'll move it over there. Let's see, what else do we have for a large shuttle? Two ceramic, we've got that. Here, in fact, this is what we said we'd... We're like, oh, all this ceramic, but we had originally gotten it um, because of the large shuttle, so... Let's move this over here. One, two... Um, I guess we'll do three. Again, out of oxygen. Hmm. Again. I think I am going to... Can I scrap this large rover seat? Ugh. No. No. Whoa. That's... That's kind of... <laughs> I don't know why that brings me joy, but that does bring me joy. Can we can we drive backwards? Oh, sideways? <laughs> that brings me much joy, actually. All right, let's let's smooth this section out here. We'll get you wired up, powered, and then I think you're going to have to face the inside here. Oh, what have we here? Hydrogen, argon, methane, nitrogen, sulfur, helium. We need nitrogen. Oh, exciting. Oh, yeah, it's just going to keep processing, huh? Oh, that's nifty. So we're just going to get a higher concentration. So how much do I need to make this? Titanium alloys, titanium and graphene... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Graphene or graphite? It's graphene. Uh, we've got to chase the dragon on this one, because graphene is graphite and hydrazine. <gasps> and hydrazine is... Ammonium, ammonium, and hydrogen for fuel. Oh, how the tables have turned...
Oh, good thing we can make hydrogen here as well. Let's do that. Wow, we're using a lot of power now. Nope, let's, let's drain the vehicle. Let's get it done. In fact, let's kick on our generator here. So, graphite, right, graphite, and then ammonium and ammonium. Mmm. A little bit of chase in the tail to get this large shuttle. I, I can understand a little bit now why it's done that way. A little bit. Getting that hydrogen. That is a bit of a cosmic endeavor to get all of this done. It's slightly involved. However... Okay, you can stop with that noise. Okay, so the first things first... We're gonna make hydrazine. So, I'm guessing it's only going to use one tick out of this hydrogen container? Right. That's good, I like that. Let's do it again. Okay. Now, if we go... takes graphene. Graphene is graphite and hydrazine. Let's do that. So, it, it definitely takes a little bit of processing, but it's still not an out-of-control requirement. Right, because now we have the graphene. So then we... Diamond is just graphene and graphene. Oh, we could make a diamond. No, we're not there yet. We're, we're trying to make titanium alloy. Titanium, graphene, nitrogen, done. So once you travel to get the iron... the I'm sorry, the, the wolframite and the hematite... That's really all you need to advance to the next section of progression. Because once you can make a... Once you once you get your research up and you can make a shredder, you can effectively scrap your way to the rest of the materials that you need. Without having to leave again. And then voila, here you are. Pushing ahead to the large shuttle excellent 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 this is the kind of progress that we need to make now we are not going to be able to make hydrazine thrusters tungsten and titanium alloy which is just as well that would be pretty expensive and we don't exactly have the ammonium deposits readily available to mass-produce hydrazine, I don't believe. That beacon. Hmm. Is it this one? Well, I, I want to go back and get the copper. But it's going to take time to get there, and we don't have the oxygen to do it, so we need to refill up. We're going to need an oxygenator for our large shuttle. 
probably afford to make a handful of solid fuel thrusters instead of just one. Let's go back to our original base. Let's see what sort of resources they have there. So if my orientation is correct in my head, and I think I do have it correct, actually, this would be the North Pole, right? Which makes sense. Yep, because the North is spinning around me. Okay. And here's our little shelter icon. So again, with the ability to get everything that we currently have minus the copper, we will need a trade post at some point. And then, because once we have that, we can scrap trade for anything that we don't have. Ideally, we would find the research materials to upgrade to a hydrazine thruster while we're there, so we're not dependent on the solid fuel thruster any longer. Really what we need is some more ammonium. We used all of our ammonium that we had gathered on our trip just to make the hydrazine. So these trailers give you O2. That's interesting. I thought it seemed like that's what was happening. I just wanted to make sure. More iron... Which we could have brought to our other uh, base. Um, in fact, that might be worth it. So let's go one, two, three, four on the copper, right? Iron. Backpack is full. I don't know if we're going to need that much copper to get us started. I mean, it's handy for some things, but we'll also likely need zinc at some point. They don't really have zinc there. We can leave the battery here because there'll be lithium there on right on the surface readily available we could package up some of these solar panels oh I think that's actually a very good call Yeah, we'll package up um, we'll package up at least a solar panel at a minimum. That's going to help us with our power our power generation quite a bit. We can carry an extra little thing there if I do that. Oh my god! So we got two zinc and iron for the base. Hmm. All right. We'll travel back. Probably could have left my canisters back at the other base, but... Oh, look at all this graphite over here. Hmm. So we bring the copper with us, and then we ensure that we won't have to A, use scrap for malachite, or B, leave right after we get there for anything goofy. The zinc, I don't think we're going to need zinc for anything, but I want to bring it just in case, because again, there won't be sphalerite on the planet. It's just going to be hematite and lithium. All right, let's go ahead and teleport back up to the top. And see what the progress on our large shuttle is. Oh, look, it's done being printed. Well, let's move it over. Oh, it doesn't even say large shuttle. It says, lo oh, it does say large shuttle. 
Oh, I saw the word spacecraft. I got kind of excited. All right, let's unpackage it. Whoa. Look at that. We're going to be able to bring so much with us. Oh, so much. So we can go in there. We need an oxygenator if we want to tether off of it. And then look at that goodness. Two double. Oh, we can put. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We can totally disconnect this, right? And bring a whole array of power generation equipment. But if we package it, oh no, we need to, we need to package this stuff. Why would we not package it? We could do large storage, large storage, and then can we bring a whole module? Hold the phone. Are we able to bring a whole module? Surely not. We can. We can bring a whole darn module with us. Hold on. My head is, is trying to wrap itself around all these possibilities. Well, we for sure want to bring all this scrap with us, don't we? I mean... My mind is slightly racing and taking off at the sheer possibility of what we can do. Wow. So forget the shredder. The shredder just takes iron. And that's actually really easy to come by. We could just double up on large storage. Bring a crud, of res crud ton of resources. Or we could bring the trade platform. That with the scrap enables. We'll be able to get anything we need right away. There's already a soil centrifuge there. Oh, my, my goodness. I'm really, really trying to wrap my head around everything that this means and what we're going to be able to do. And it's, it's pretty significant. Wow. I don't want to rush into anything, though. I feel like there are so many things that we could do to make this trip worth it and to get some real value out of being there that I in no way, shape, or form want to rush it. So we're absolutely not going to leave right away. Instead, we're going to make sure we get the most value possible out of this. And I still know we're going to need copper, so we're going to bring that. The iron, we're going to be able to get there, so we're going to leave that here. The zinc as well, we're going to need. We've, we've pretty much determined these are resources that won't be there, that we will need at some point. So we can afford to bring them. Do I even want to bring this trade platform? Would it be better to just... Oh. No, let's get some packagers here, actually. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm thinking we have one solar panel already packaged up. Wow, um, this is going to take some time for me to wrap my head around everything that we want to do. And I, I, as I said, I don't want to rush it. So my thought process is that we're not going to do it this episode. Um, but we're pretty much, we're, we're on G at this point waiting for O. So we'll be getting it ready for next episode. But that's where we're going to wrap up Astroneer episode 16 thank you so much for joining me i do hope you've had a good time watching because as always i have had a good time playing please do be sure to come back next time as we take our large shuttle with us and wow set up a really nice base on novus uh, and, and start that adventure mm. but until next time, take care.